so current scenario only support for and as a global operator i want to add another operator that is or okay so let's add it so i am going to the request it you here i am creating one uh, enum okay enum uh, enum name is global global operator okay so here i am adding two uh, annotate uh, sorry uh, two constants and second one is the or okay so let me call global operator here private global operator and it is nothing but the global operator okay so it's a public so after that we need to have the changes in the service as well as uh, in the controller so first go to the service filter specification there i i am going to add that same parameter that is global operator okay global operator okay and uh, let's have one condition here if global operator uh, global operator dot equals global operator and or okay let's go for the and okay if it is and then it will return this okay otherwise what it will do else it will return this part with or operator okay so this is how we modified it okay so uh means what uh, here if you get the operator as and it will return the and query otherwise it will return the or query okay so this is done let's do the changes in controller so our method signa uh, signature is modified that's why i'm adding that parameter request to dot get global operator so yeah that's it done let's rerun our project one more time I'm going to maximize it and let's open the postman. So, uh, as you know, we add or we already added new parameters. So, I need to modify our request also, right? So, for uh, the parameter is a global operator, right? So, let me copy that parameter, request it to you, and it is like global operator. So, I'm copying that parameter and putting it here, right? And what is the value for example i want to execute it for the and so as you know uh, it don't work for the and right now it only work for the means yeah because we don't have the data that's why it is not working with and okay so if i execute let me show you the query it will it will work with and okay so it's like student name is this and the student id is this that's what we are passing what if i change the operator and the query will change okay so let me clear the control one more time because it will fire three query IDs this time i'm executing it and here we are getting the result okay with uh, uh with name gauro and the id is three that's what we are trying to search so name is gauro or id is three that's how the query is fire like let's see so uh, select from student where student name is this or okay that's how uh, it is executing with the or operator and this is the result you are getting